Nice. You can't come to Lagos and not experience the traffic. <laughs> I think it will give you the dues <laughs> of uh, <laughs> the traffic in Lagos. All right, now let's talk about the, the, you know, the possibility of schools adopting some of these poems to be taught. Is that what is going to be happening? Yes, that, that's also part of the plan. Okay. Um, as, as I speak, we have copies submitted to the um, Department of um, Curriculum mm -hmm. in Lagos under the ed um, Education uh, Ministry, yeah. and they are looking into it. Hopefully, they get it adopted in schools. Mm. Um, but beyond that, some schools have taken up the um, you know, they've taken up that, that attempt to ensure that this, just like I told you, mm -hmm. that I was told that there's a particular school that has picked a poem and in their own little way, mm -hmm. they have, you know, done it into recitation and every, probably Wednesday or Friday at the assembly ground, they recite the poem. So this, this actually connects them to the state they live in. Mm -hmm. It connects them to the cultural significance of the state they mm -hmm. live in. It connects them to their environment. So some schools have started, and uh, but to make it holistic, we have submitted it to the Department of Curriculum, and hopefully mm. we pray that it scales through so that we can have this read in schools. And when kids read the work of their fellow kids, they will be able to say, yes, if he can do it, I also can, I can do, do it. it. Exactly. If this is a child so it becomes of, a source of yeah, inspiration. Yeah, a source of inspiration mm. for them. Mm. If a child can, even their parents will be able to inspire them. Is that not uh, a Lagbaja, the child of Lagbaja mm -hmm. that has done this? Why can't you do it as well? And beyond just running around, you know, doing other things and just focusing on your phone and all that, you can do something that is profitable, mm. that will add value to the society, and that will also make you uh, self-reliant in the future. Because there's a whole lot that the poetry can do. Mm -hmm. You can see banks now using poetry to, you know, to exactly. talk about their, their exactly. services. You can see uh, companies, you know, uh, calling poets mm -hmm. to come and do things. For, so it's, it's, it's a whole lot. There, there's a whole lot that the creative uh, industry can do. And if I, in the creative industry, there's no boundary. No, no, there's no boundary. There's no boundary there's at no all. Boundary. You can it's sit limitless. in the comfort of your home. Mm -hmm and do something fantastic and you'll be paid without right. even going out, mm. without even spending a penny. It's just your phone and writing. Once you have the, you know, uh, once you are creative and um, you, the muse is there to write, you write and it's fantastic and they'll buy your work. Mm. They can buy it for, you know, millions of dollars depending on how, you know, how fantastic your Okay. Your now, let, let's, is. let's talk about the issue of funding. Okay. I, I know uh, Lagos State... Uh, That's our basic Yes, Subeb is behind, is behind this, but I know how expensive this can be. Uh, we are in this industry in where industry, yes. you're talking about audiovisual, you know, recording and all of that, editing, and it, it takes whole, a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Is this meant to just be funded by Subeb or there's a room for other uh, corporations and collaborators, yes. collaborators to come in and fund part of uh, the project? Well, it is open to this. This is more of a public-private partnership okay. project. Okay. Um, this is Subeb in partnership with Atwas Communications mm. to to drive this. Okay. Um, and we are open to. We tried to get in touch with um, the corporate world during the, the you know the process of this this work. Mm. But you know um, the corporate world they are always skeptical when you are starting something at fresh. They don't know. We are the destination. Exactly. Where to what's, get what's, to. So maybe what's that the, was why the possibility of success? Key, key into okay. it, but it's open. For instance, we have this work. We are converting to audiovisual. Mm -hmm. They can also use the audiovisual platform to also talk about their products. Mm -hmm. You know, and by doing that, we can also add value to the kids by giving them educational support. Mm -hmm. You know, when you give kids educational support, you are also you know. It's, it's, it's a kind of a corporate social responsibility. So, so it is open to other collaborators to come in. To this, uh, Subeb has done its best to ensure that this, the, uh, these kids are given opportunity to express themselves and um, the, we, in this book form and in the audiovisual format. So mm -hmm. we are still open to, for, by the grace of God, for that of the next edition that will be focusing on, um, on drug abuse, there's the plan to collaborate with NDLEA Okay. So that um, we can work together, um, give uh, incentives to, to to the poets, mm. you know. or even the the uh, national orientation agency. Agency. Yeah. So we have it. We are open. Suburb is not an hidden, uh, you know, mm -hmm. agency. They can mm -hmm. they can easily, you know, talk to them. Atwas Communications is also is also there. So we are open for collaborations. The initial thing we wanted to do with this audiovisual format that we have done is to 
have it into an app. Okay. But we saw the cost, and uh, we couldn't achieve that. But still, with what we have, the audio and the video version, we can still have an app that will, you know, um, have this, all these songs and all these poems mm -hmm. and all this reading put together into an app. Or maybe after the second edition, we have that of Lagos, that of drug abuse, put everything together and say, okay, this is a co-poem app. Mm -hmm. The plan is to have a co-poem app. So if we have corporate organizations, we have you know, individuals who want to support this vision to, to, to ensure that they invest in the lives of these children. Mm -hmm. Because the future of our society is in the hands of these children. If you groom them well today, you will smile in the near future. Mm -hmm. If you don't groom mm -hmm. them well, well, the reverse is the case. Well, the but it's good, it's good we're starting with this now. Good, and good, uh, catching good. them young is, is one of the strategies to ensuring that Tomorrow is secure and the future is secure. Yes. So in the audiovisual, uh, as, as we see the children sing and yeah, dance, sing you know, them, yeah. reciting poems and all of that, and then at the end you see powered by... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, see groove. We, are, we are even converted <laughs> some of the poems to, nice. to, to a stage production. Okay. No, we did that during the unveiling of the work. Okay. Um, Gifted Steppers, mm. um, the, the kids, they, they did... They converted some of the poems into a stage production. Mm. It, and it was, it was fantastic. It was Amazing. fantastic. He Amazing. Harrison did a fantastic job. He just collected the copy of the poem and he picked the poems. Mm. He did it in a way that you can sit and relate with the poems being staged. You know, it's, wow. not, it's not like a play. The mm. poems put together like a play and being recited mm. with dance, mm. with moves and all that. We plan to do that too, but we couldn't get the necessary support. We plan to do something like, we call it a koile, you okay. know, a stage adaptation of eco poems. A koile is for like one hour all the poems here will be performed live on stage Fantastic. for you to understand what Lagos is mm. all about. That's, that's really nice. Well, let, let, let's talk about you a, a little bit. So the point is, I know, <laughs> <laughs> I know how busy we are. I know how busy you have also mm -hmm, been, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, crisscrossing the country with, uh, you know, in the last uh, few, months, few months, you know. How, how did you have time to concentrate edit this, get involved with this and all of that. Give us an idea of this. You see, uh, if you are passionate about something, mm -hmm. no matter how busy you are, you yeah. create a schedule. You create a time for it. I've never, in any way, well, I'm a broadcast journalist, I'm a very busy broadcast journalist, but at the same time, I create time to build myself, mm -hmm. you know, my creative, um, the creative aspect of me. I've, I've not stopped writing poems. I've not stopped writing plays. Mm. You know, I've not stopped performing my poems. I've not stopped performing my plays. Um, last year, one of my plays was performed at the National Troop of Nigeria. Mm. That's um, Echoes of the Drums to commemorate Nigeria's 62nd um, you know, independence, independence anniversary yeah. here in Lagos. And you know, for your play to be performed by the, the number one theater you know, performing troupe in Nigeria, mm -hmm. it's a national honor mm -hmm. for you. So, but this is, I, I, I am doing all this to inspire to inspire um, creative minds mm. who are also involved in other things. Mm. You know, because you are involved in other things, those things may not be your direct, may not be your own thing, but you're also using it to add value to the society. Exactly. But what about your own thing? Mm. You will leave, other, you leave what you're doing for other people and concentrate on your thing later in life. You know, but if you, don't, if you don't train yourself, if you don't build yourself, if you don't work on yourself, I, I said this project was, was conceptualized when I was an undergraduate. Mm. You said about 11 years yes, ago. Yes, about 11 years. Wow. It, was, it was given birth to after 11 years of incubation. Mm. Do you understand? And there are so many other works like that that you know, we have in the pipeline. So if you don't get yourself ready for these things, then it will just, it will just slide. So mm. I didn't allow the you know, moving around all the states for political campaigns mm -hmm. and all that to deter me from you know, building myself or yeah. to deter me from adding value to the society through the, 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 the artistic side of me. Mm. You know, I call myself a journalist thespian. I'm a journalist and a thespian. <laughs> <laughs> so put together. So, 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 so it's a whole lot. Yeah. It's a whole lot. All and right. I thank God that uh, God has blessed me with ideas and I can use his ideas to add value to humanity. All right. Thank you so much, Olawa Kong, for thank you so much, sir. All, that, all that you're doing. And uh, Lagos is feeling your impact. And uh, we look forward to Nigeria feeling your impact. The and then the world. African continent and then the world. Thank you very much for coming on the program. You're welcome. Sir. Thank you.